Hey, happy Friday, y'all. Um, such a awesome upgrade from, from a Thursday. Thursdays pretty much suck in the FFBE world. But Fridays are exciting. There's always something new. Steel Castle No Fiki is here, um, which always has me on my toes because it's like, you know, I always feel that if I'm not grinding that and, and getting the most out of it and upgrading my weapons to, to like, the most stellar stellar place then I'm just wasting my time um so yeah pressure's on that's there and then I have this ticket from that 40 million DLs there's a lot of like numbers and and letters going on in in all this 40 million stuff it's you know it gets a little confusing but here's just that that simple little ticket that we got this morning for this step three two plus one on my last one, was it the last step? No, it was not the last step. But the step one, I got a, I got a rainbow straight off the bat. It was rum. It was my third. Um, but it was a rainbow nonetheless. So I um, usually don't reject rainbows unless you're Delita. All right, so let's go see what this is before we get going. But hey, today we're gonna do that. Um, the roadless travel. Get that going. And see. Um, See exactly how hard that is. If I remember correctly, hold on. Shh. We're getting units. Oh, and it's just this William friend. All right. Well, that's cool. Hmm. And an EX summon ticket. Why not? Uh, could have been a rare summon ticket, but don't you dare. It's fine. Whatever. I'm not a complainer. All right, so I did something funny for this um, for this road less traveled, um, and I decided to really be on the road of less traveling by bringing along to the rats from the gutters difficulty one ten. As we've determined, this is a very very strange. Uh, number 110. It can go a lot of ways. Number 110, Rats from the Gutters. Uh, he can attack with physical and magic. Instant KOs. Oh, shoot, we didn't even think about that. Um, bring a tank. Support units. Uh, Alright, well, I don't know how this is gonna go. But I did something a little bit funny. We get a yellow balloon if we complete it. No items. Psh, piece of cake. Evoke it for it. We'll see if we have him equipped. I think I do. Defeat him with magic. That's just asking a little too much. Right? Um, especially when you see my my party. This. Okay. This is probably actually a situation where I should bring a friend. Um. <laughs> All right, I think we need to bring a dedicated healer because I don't have one of those. But Tone Nibbler, I'm not sure. Um, let's go see if we can get a grab a, um, a CG Fina because I am there. She is. I am most most comfortable with her. All right, let's go. Ha blue. Um, this is it. Check out these chicks. These chicks. Check out these these people these chicos and chicas there we go um saved it kelsis grinfield uyuko uyuko uh cat costume girl what do you what's your name nyalu uh and then ulbrick because you know i don't know what the survivability here is going to be hence the cg fina so um Thought process here being that Rats from the Gutters was during the, the, the event when these guys, these guys were all getting, you know, we could summon them and all that good stuff. This is probably a dumb idea. I've got, you know, I can go to my other party, thrash these guys, but it's kind of curious to see, like, what the time lapse between when the event actually came out and now. If the gear that we have now would be enough to push these six stars into usability against something that when it came out back then was probably too much for them to tackle. So we'll see. I think you see where I'm going with this. I should stop explaining. 
usually the more words I add, the more muddled it gets. All right, so Tirat, he didn't preemptively strike us, which is always a good thing. So Tirat had never heard of Albrecht or you know, any of our seven star tanks, to be honest. But that doesn't mean that he won't deal some serious damage. So there we go. Ulbrex on cover. Kelsis has that interesting missile shelter move. If you don't know what that is, let's see it. Um, reduces damage to self for one turn and damages all enemies next turn. I, I don't know what to expect out of it at this point. Um, this Grenfell guy is really weird. He has a very strange kit. Um, I don't even know what really to do with him. Let's just a boost attack and defense for everybody. And Ukio. <sighs> spirit? Damage and reduce spirit? Sure. Because I don't think... Okay, so I'm not... Oh, she's got Spirit Fire Fox Claw on, just in case you're wondering. Alright, um, yeah. Let's damage and reduce spirit. Um, I didn't say for all allies, did it? Yeah, all enemies. Okay. And then this chick can apparently reduce attack and magic. So we've kind of been able to break everything but defense with just this silly little silly little group that we have. So let's give it a shot, right? Um, what is Mage Fina? You're gonna just cast that auto revive. I think we're gonna need it. <laughs> Barrier, okay, I don't know what that's about. So far, so good as far as the damage goes. I don't know who just did that. Oh, that's what that was missile shelter, I'm, I'm assuming. Alright, so he's resistant to physical and magic attacks. That's just great. Mm hmm. Well, in that case, dispel go, right? <sighs> Not a problem for us. And, oh no, he still has it. Dang it, man. Resistant to dispel guard or what? Hmm. <laughs> Let's just see exactly how resistant that is. If we do this little thing and then this little, I know, not that one. This little thing. And your little missile shelter move again. And boost our defense. And while you're at it, damage all enemies. Yeah, a cross strike. See if we can do anything on this guy. Yeah, not really looking like it, right? Okay, so it looks like this may have been a kind of like a, a little fun little experiment, but if I actually try to beat this with this group, it might take uh, 121 turns. And now Venus stopped, so that's uh, unlucky. Mm, you still got your resistances up, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, cover again. I will just keep. Oh, and I'm just totally wasting your magic, magic points. I'm getting a couple things, couple, couple things of damage down on him. All right, there's that would be your meteor, your um, magic attack. There we go. Yeah, that's not pretty. But they had their revival things up. How you doing? You almost there? You almost. I just want to see what happens when he's when his boosts are off. Um, let's see. Any 
healing stuff. Curata, do it. And yeah, and just continue to do the shelter thing. Oh, let's see. Yeah, reduce damage taken. And then boost attack. Absolutely. This is a little bit silly. Sorry for subjecting you to this. <sighs> Anybody get anything good in the steel castle? I tried to throw um uh Aloha Last Walls umbrella or parasol, some parasol katana thingy through and um it didn't it didn't turn out too well i wasn't thrilled i can't seem to really get you know on the ones that i, I want okay i think he still has one more turn of those boosts <sighs> get off there ah stop it um all right so he still has yet yeah, he still has one more turn of that Right, I might as well show, throw the cover back on. Outside, I can hear your ice cream man. That's always a fun noise. You guys like that noise? Uh -huh. Continue to do well. You don't waste your magic points too much. Is he? See, I've already forgotten. Still has one more turn, right? Oh, come on. Okay, um, here we go. Let's boost attack and defense. Why not, right? I guess again with a missile shelter. Finally, you're back. What well, you, you've been doing with your life in the meantime. Um, but let's get some Kiraja and re raise on a. Actually, you know what? Let's full life. What's her name? Cat costume. Because I think she had a little bit of a break in her kit. As, as tiny as that break was, we could probably use it. Mm, what are you going to do? Oh, you're putting on a barrier again, which is probably that other thing that you had going on. But what it, what's up if we can't dispel it? What does it want from us? Is that true now? Yeah. See, he's still resistant to everything. What a jerk. Okay, well, do you that you your thing? And uh, boost, uh, reduce attack magic. Do your black formal move. So divine. This one. Sure. As you can see, I'm losing patience for this crew. I thought it was gonna go a lot differently than this. And that last um gosh, what's with a lag today? And that last group um of you know, this whole thing, this little, you know, five battles in a row thing. Um, it seemed like the first battle was like a cinch. Now, I'm not sure what has changed. Um, but in any case, you know, I get it, we're taking these, these six-star um, troglodytes with us, but apparently, like, people know how to use Kelsis in an effective way. Or I've heard that at least. Probably a fixed dice thing. Always seems like it boils down to a fixed dice thing when I don't understand it. Okay. I don't know. Probably there are people out there with, that would... That, with with the stick to itness to to finish this experiment off. 
but all I see is that it's been 15 minutes and that's just, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I, I start to feel guilty, right? Let's go to our backup party. But, hey, it's an experiment, right? Don't we all like experiments? It took me a while to gear those fools, too. Well, mm, I'm going to ask if I'll get for it. Okay. So, what have we got going on? Okay. Alright, so this was our Octopath uh, premium party with like our fake Haunted, our Primrose, and our Ulbrich. Let's see how this goes. I mean, this guy can't be all that hard. He came out like a long time ago. Right? Uh, does he come with his boost? No, he doesn't. So the idea is that we, we take care of him now. Here and now. So let's go see about that. Primrose. Uh, three times. Oh, that's something else. Alright, so I think this guy is going to probably be a beast. So let's do that. Um, where is it? Lion Dance. And put that on Ong. Because slash Ang. He's going to be your guy. And then, um, oh, I would say, shoot, um, boost attack, yeah, and damage taken. You get in there and you cover, my friend. Uh, I still don't know her kit very well, but, um, where is that, uh, Calamity Brew. And let's try a Hex Eye on this man, see if he's... See how he feels about the hex eye. So now, I don't know that we can even spare another turn because, you know, it's just sobering and flowing. Because remember, he stopped um, our friend F CG Fina last time. <sighs> okay, and then. I think I just need to try, right? Beast Hunter Arrow and uh, uh, Power Arrow and see how much damage we do. Oh man, so close, so close! And now he's putting up his barriers, dang it. But maybe we can still do some damage. What do you think? Hanit would love to take down a beast like this. Although she'd probably have something wise to say, like, Beast. Of size. Not equal to power of mine. I don't know. That was dumb. And I just hope you forget it. Um, she has a funny way. Funny way of, funny way of talking. That haunt it. work? Do you think that'll take those things off? Because Dispelga didn't. Let's give it a shot. You never know, right? Um, where is it? Where'd that thing go? Nullifying Chant. And then that Wicked Eye. We'll just see if um, all that stuff comes off. Nope, it sure didn't, but he still has Hex, so that's cool. Um, so Ang um, slash Aang. Why don't you get your LB going? Because, um, is that one this one? Yeah. Because then at least, even though he's resistant to stuff, we might even be able to break through anyway because we're so powerful. And in the meantime, snake dance. Oh, wait, she doesn't really have to do that now because of he's got his LB. Um, what do we want to use? Um, yeah, let's let's do that too. Let's 
deal dark damage and then add it to, to Aang Sash Ong. So he's all set to go with beast damage and dark damage and, and all that good stuff. Meanwhile, our good friend Foga will just do a Water Priestess's Prayer, restore hit points, reduce magic dealt, and this one too. Cooldowns times two. Never gonna complain about that. Stout wall. Man, guys, this could have been a super short video. I apologize. I just wanted to do something, um, something that was like experimental for myself to see, yeah, if with those gears, with those gears, with the, with the gear, extra gear that we've received since this guy was was a thing, a force to be reckoned. Um, if it would have made a difference. All right, I think this is gonna do it, even though he's got his boots up. Yep, that's what I thought. So, oh, we didn't even, oh shoot, we didn't do any of those special things, did we? Shoot, 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 shoot. Dude, I had one job to evoke your fruit, right? Well, as you can see, this is easy enough. I'll be able to go back and do that. Don't worry, I'll get those rare summon tickets and then we'll use them in, in a pool for, for someone someday. Bonus units, uh, but... Uh, budget bonus unit pool or um, maybe towards treasure hunter lock which I'm really saving for and I hope he doesn't come soon because I do not have the resources for that so I'm I'm hoping he takes a sweet time anyway that's all we got we got that yellow balloon that's supposed to be an interesting thing that I didn't have before so I'll go back and I'll evoke it for it no worries on that but um, how are you guys uh, feeling about this one, The Road Less Traveled? Um, I haven't done the Castle X Death exploration yet. I've been I've been killing myself with Steel, Fe Steel Castle Novikia and um, Castle X Death as well. Killing myself trying to get the event points required um, for like at least, at least uh, the special summon ticket. Even though it's just going to give me a night nice flu in the end, but you know, it is what it is, right? Um, okay, well, happy Friday. Hope, um, you had some fun today with, uh, new things and were able to put Boring Thursday to rest, um, and just having fun rather than play this game. So, um, cheers.